Hello everyone, this is Dan Plus Nine Nine Four. This year we're going to be making January twenty seventh from the last session. Also known as NAB version of the page, we're going to be long as you can go on BibleYouTube.com. Or you guys can go on Bible and we can use one of the Bible screen inserted. Jeremiah 27, the National Version, and every version, Judah says, Serve Nebuchadnezzar. Early in the reign of Zedekiah, son of Josiah, king of Judah, this word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. This is, this is what the Lord said to me Make a yoke out of straps and crossbars and put it on your neck. And send the words to the kings of Edom, Moab, Ammon, Tyre, and Sidon. The, through the envoys who have come to Jerusalem to Zedekiah, king of Judah, give them a message for their masters and say, This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says, Salute this to your masters. With my great power and outstretched arm, I made the earth and its power and the animals that are on it, and I give it to anyone I please. Now I'll give all your countries into the hands of my servant, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. I'll make even the wild animals subject to him. All nations will serve him and his son and his grandson until the time for his land comes. M many nations and great kings will subjugate him. If, however, any nation or kingdom will not serve Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, or bow its neck under his yoke, I'll punish that nation with a sword. Famine Famine and plague to close the Lord until I destroyed by his hand. So do not listen to your prophets, prophets, your diviners, your interpreters of dreams, <coughs> your mediums or your sorcerers who tell you you will not serve the king of Babylon. They prophesy their lies to you that will only serve to remove you far from your lands. I'll banish you and you'll perish, but if any nation will bow its neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him, I'll let that nation remain in its own land to till it and to live there, declares the Lord. I gave the same message to Zedekiah, king of Judah. I said, bow your neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon. Serve him and his people, and you'll live. Why will you and your people die by the sword, famine, and plague, with which the Lord has threatened any nation that will not serve the king of Babylon? Do not listen to the words of the prophets who say to you, you will not serve the king of Babylon, for they are prophesying lies to you. I have not sent them, declares the Lord. They are prophesying lies in my name. Therefore, I will banish you, and you will perish, both you and the prophets who prophesy to you. And I said to the priests and all these people, this, this is what the Lord says, Do not listen to the prophets who say, Very soon other articles from the Lord's house will be brought back from Babylon. They are prophesying lies to you. Do not listen to them. Serve the king of Babylon, and you will live. Why should the city become a ruin? If they are prophets, prophets and have the word of the Lord, let them plead with the Lord Almighty that the articles remaining in the house of the Lord and in the palace of the king of Judah, and in Jerusalem, not be taken of Babylon. For the, this is what the Lord <coughs> our Almighty says about the pillars to bronze sing. The movable stands and other articles that are left in the city, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, did not take away when he carried it. Jehoiachin, son of Jehoiachin, king of Judah, into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. Along with other the nobles of Judah and Jerusalem, yes, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. But the things that are left in the house of the Lord and in the palace of the king of Judah and in Jerusalem, they will be taken to Babylon and they will, there they will remain until the day I come for them. If I the Lord, then I'll bring them back and restore them to this place. Okay, okay guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.